We got another doozy of an update for you, covering the Mercenaries Mode DLC, update 1.004 patch notes, an update on the sales of the game, and the prospect for even more DLC for Resident Evil 4 Remake in the future, coming up now. So, Mercenaries is out, and I hope you're enjoying the mode if you've been playing it. It's been about two weeks since the release of Resident Evil 4 Remake, and fans are finally able to get their hands on the Mercenaries DLC that was promised by Capcom when the game was released. I gotta say, there are some big things we're about to talk about regarding Mercenaries mode, but I just want to put it out there that this mode is a heck of a lot of fun. Being able to play as some of our favorite characters like Krauser, Luis, and Hunk with the awesome gameplay of Resident Evil 4 Remake is more fun than egging Salazar in the face. Now, this is Mercenaries mode, but not the Mercenaries we thought we were getting when we covered this bit of news a week and a half ago. What's included here in this current iteration of Mercenaries mode includes four characters, starting out with Leon, Luis, Krauser, and then Hunk. In addition, three maps are included, the village, the castle, and the island. I'm gonna put this out there. The original game had five characters with four maps in total, making that game's mercenaries mode more substantial. So remember when we discussed from the data mine for the game that revealed a total of eight playable characters with four maps? Yeah, well, that simply isn't the case here. Now, here's the thing. I wouldn't get worried that these extra characters in map won't get included here, and I will discuss my reasoning shortly about that. But before we get to that, let's talk about what you get here in Mercenaries as far as unlockables and game progression are concerned. So, Mercenaries is all about taking one of the four playable characters out onto a map and killing as many enemies as possible within the time limit. Players can pick up time extenders throughout the map, chain kill enemies to increase their score, and use a variety of weapons to get a leg up in the game. Enemies start off weak, requiring a few shots to kill, but as more enemies are defeated, the horde gets stronger and more resilient as a result. We all start off with Leon and the village map unlocked, but each remaining map is unlocked upon completing each stage, so upon completing the village, the castle will be unlocked, and once completing the castle map, the island will become unlocked. Players will unlock Louise as a playable character in Mercenaries after achieving an A rank with Leon in any of the maps, Krauser by achieving an A rank with Louise, and Hunk by achieving an A rank with Krauser. Each character has an ability that is engaged when this gold meter on the bottom of the screen fills up. Once engaged, your character enters Mayhem mode, giving them extra abilities, like an increase to Leon's speed and power, Louise's TNT, Krauser's arm transformation, and Hunk's infinite ammo. The mode is pure arcade fun, and while it is a blast to fight off wave after wave of enemies, the rewards here aren't that enticing. Just like the original RE4 back on the GameCube, the main reward from Mercenaries mode in the remake is the hand cannon. In Resident Evil 4 Remake, the hand cannon can be unlocked in Mercenaries mode upon achieving an S rank in all of the three stages included, which is significantly easier than the previous way of earning that gun. The issue that many players have is that the hand cannon can be unlocked upon completing the main game on Professional without using any bonus weapons. For those who have already completed the campaign and have unlocked the hand cannon, there are no real rewards on offer here in this current iteration of Mercenaries mode, other than being able to play as the three other characters in Mercenaries outside of Leon. It's just a bit frustrating for those players who have worked hard to earn the hand cannon through the main campaign to be left awarded with nothing outside of Mercenaries mode. Well, at least we have online leaderboards to take advantage of. That said, for all of you looking to get all the trophies and achievements, this hand cannon will help you out tremendously, which segues right into the next bit of controversy. We now have microtransactions for weapon ticket upgrades. You heard me right. Want that platinum trophy or all achievements? Simply spend $2.99 to get your weapon exclusive upgrade ticket, start a new game on professional mode, make your way to the merchant in chapter 2, use your weapon ticket you just bought on your hand cannon, and now take advantage of the most powerful magnum in the game with infinite ammo, killing nearly everything in a single hit. That'll make your speedruns for the S plus ranks significantly easier. So for those that have wanted an easier way to get all of your achievements, well, there you go. I made a video about 16 super easy skips you can use to obtain your S plus ranks with ease, of which you can view in the description if you'd like. 
These weapon upgrade tickets come individually for $2.99, of which there are five in the store, or it can be bought in groups of three for $6.99, of which there are four bundles in the store, or a single group of five for $9.99. If you were to buy all the weapon exclusive upgrade tickets on the store for your game, you're looking at spending 53 bucks US without tax. What you do with your money is up to you, but I want to know from you all. What do you think about these microtransactions now in Resident Evil 4 Remake? Will you buy a weapon upgrade ticket for the unlimited hand cannon for the harder difficulties to help you get all your achievements? What do you think about Mercenaries mode? Let me know in the comments. Now, I told you that you may not have to worry about Ada and Wesker not being present in Mercenaries mode earlier. The reason being is, I believe those characters will be present once Ada's Separate Ways campaign gets released. Because Ada is central to that campaign, as she is its protagonist, and Wesker is essential to her story in that mode, I believe that Ada and Wesker will be included in Mercenaries once Separate Ways launches. In addition, the fourth map, the docks, will be included once Separate Ways drops as well, as we can infer that from the data mine we discussed nearly two weeks ago, of which you can watch here in this card. The data mine got exactly right the descriptions for the village, castle, and island sections in Mercenaries, and I wouldn't be surprised if the docks, Ada and her alternate butterfly costume, Leon's pinstripe costume, and Wesker become playable once her DLC finally arrives. As to when that will happen, well, there isn't a release date for the mode yet, although Dusk Golem, a popular leaker with a pretty good track record for Resident Evil leaks, tweeted that Separate Ways has been in development even before Resident Evil 4 Remake released, and reports we could potentially see the mode drop later this year. Take a look here with his posts on screen with quote, One thing I'll say is the wait for Separate Ways DLC for Resident Evil 4 Remake is it won't be as long as the RE8 DLC. Very different situations. RE8 DLC was only really decided to be a thing after RE8 came out. Long wait time was because it was all developed after the game was already out. Separate Ways was plotted to give main attention to the main game during development, with a smaller team working on Separate Ways during its course, to then bump up the Separate Ways team after work was done. Unless some unforeseen development hurdles should be this year." End quote. In addition to Separate Ways coming, we also know that there is a PSVR 2 mode developed for the game to be released sometime later as well. I know that was a lot to hear just now, but it really looks like we have a bit more to see when it comes to Resident Evil 4 Remake. Sure, the Mercenaries mode may not be in its complete form right now, but dang, is it not fun as hell going through these awesome maps with the boys. I look forward to the rest of the roster and the additional map, and hopefully we'll get even more down the line. Online Mercenaries co-op would be an amazing addition, right? We saw how well it worked in Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, so hey, why not here? Along with Mercenaries mode dropping, we have a recent patch notes for the game, known as Patch 1.004. The patch notes read as follows. For all platforms, a new extra game, the Mercenaries has been added. Aim for the highest score in your battle to defeat as many enemies as possible within the time limit. PS5 an issue causing flickering lights at the bottom of the screen when certain settings are applied has been fixed. A graphics rendering process which resulted in certain environmental details looking blurry has been fixed. Xbox Series X and S, the dead zone, the range in which the controller's sticks don't respond to movement, has been reduced, resulting in more responsive controls. Adjusted graphics rendering processes resulting in improved game frame rates. For all platforms, other miscellaneous bug fixes. It is also reported that Resident Evil 4 Remake has sold more than 4 million units, making it one of the fastest selling Resident Evil games in its treasured history. With the success of Resident Evil 4 Remake, perhaps we'll get even more games remade in the future, right? We go over all that and more in this video here on your screen. Remember to check out my ongoing giveaway of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and thank you all for the awesome support. I look forward to seeing you all real soon in the next video. Peace.